to check out the next total lunar eclipse. Meteorologist Amber Wheeler tells us when and where you can catch a glimpse. Mark your calendars for Friday, March 14th. In the very early morning hours, we'll get to see our next lunar eclipse. Now this happens when the sun, the earth and the moon become aligned and the earth casts a shadow on the moon and that creates the rich oranges and reds that we see. Now you'll either have to stay up really late or set your alarm for really early to see this event because here are the timings. Now you can start your viewing just after midnight at about 12 11. So that's when this is going to all start. The eclipse becomes total at about 1 28 a.m. and it's going to hit its maximum at 201 a.m. with the total eclipse lasting until 2 30. Now it'll then move on to the partial phase and then it'll be all over at about 3 47 in the morning. And these colors that you see have levels. Named after the French astronomer Andre Danjon, the Danjon scale illustrates the range of colors and brightness that the moon will take on during the eclipse. And you can see here that they're described as very dark at L0 to the richer oranges and reds at the other levels. And all these colors are determined by the angle that you're seeing the eclipse and the atmosphere that you're looking through. So be ready Friday morning between 1211 and 347 a.m. And no, you don't need a telescope. You can see it with the naked eye. And if you'd like to find a watch party, the main HOMA library, uh, they're going to have their doors open at 1230 a.m. for a gathering. Back to you.